Miriam Radley from England and Nails and I'm back! I'm so excited! I've been away for like ages, not away away, but I've not been able to film any YouTube videos because I've moved out and I'll be honest, it's been a bloody nightmare. Um, but anyway, I'm back and I've moved as well. I'm in head office now filming, so I've got my nice little green room that I've painted and all my stuff and it's really good and I've even got a new model not that you can see her <laughs> but she is here it's the lovely Vicky she's one of the new ink educators as well so where are you both Vicky? Uh, Rotten Stall, Lancashire where head office is so <laughs> yeah if any of you need training around here Vicky's your gal aren't you? I am there you go <laughs> so we are going to do today an acrylic nail and we're going to do an encapsulated acrylic flower because we were having this conversation before and it seemed to be a thing that was like really popular a few years ago and now we're seeing it come back again. I've seen loads of them on Instagram with you. Loads. 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 So we thought why not we're going to have a bash at one of them and we're going to put some glitter in and some coloured acrylic and all sorts. So I'm going to start by doing a clear base but I just want it like dead thin so it's just because if you're doing like any sort of acrylic design it's just easier like to have a clear base when it comes to infill because then you can just file down to your clear base also if you're using like coloured acrylic it stops it from staining the natural nail but it just needs to be like super thin like really really thin because if it's not really really thin when you're putting stuff inside um, the nail will get thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker and then when you come to file it you're going to file all your stuff away that's inside and then it will just be pointless so I'm going to go I'm not going to go like ridiculously long I don't want to give Vicky a heart attack. 
Or will you keep it, Vicky, or will you just take it off? I'll keep it. You'll keep it? Treasure it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be cursing me because you can't do anything. Yeah, I've not gone super duper long. Oh, I've got an air out my brush. Don't want to encapsulate that, do we? Or oh, do we? We could do hair nails. <laughs> Watch this space, why not? I've seen work, weird things encapsulated. Ants, did you see that on Facebook and that? Ants, somebody put ants, live ants. I mean, I feel like that was a bit cruel, really. Mm. I know they're only ants, but. No, I wasn't a fan. So I'm going to do like a really clear, it's basically just like a wash really, really thin clear even, on the nail bed. Then we're going to put some colour in. I'm going to use DiCaprio um, <clears throat> because it's a lovely colour but also I like Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm not going to lie, he's a bit of a childhood love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Titanic and all that. Well, no. <laughs> and the glitters I'm going to use are Billy and Rosalind. These are so cute. I really like these ones. It's like a peachy one and like a lilac -y one, do you reckon? Yeah. Super cute, super sparkly. So I'll put these, th mm, you won't be able to see what I'm doing there, really. I'll discuss it as I go. So I'm going to put my DiCaprio. Oh, which way shall I do it? There's so many options, isn't there? I'm going to put DiCaprio towards the fridge. I only want a little tiny, little tiny, teeny tiny bit. Not loads. Even probably less than that. Again, make sure it's nice and thin, thin, thin. This is pink, but it's got glitter in it as well already, like a silver shimmer. I'm gonna add a bit of glitter towards the free edge so I'm just dipping a tiny little bit into my clear and then I'm going to dip into my glitter to pick the glitter up and add it in now at the top towards the cuticle area I'm going to use a cover powder and I'm going to use Sydney I really like Sydney. It's like, I don't know, it was just a really nice nude, I think. So I'm going to use this as my cuticle piece and feather it down over the glitter. Get the brush hair out. And then here is where I'm going to do my little encapsulated flower. So brushes, I'm going to use the Rainer de Art and the 3D Maestro. The 3D Maestro is a smaller one, I'll show you. So there you go, you can see. So this is the Rainer de Art, the big one, and this is the 3D Maestro, so it's a smaller one. So I like both of these for doing 3D stuff, um, but yeah, obviously one's bigger than the other. So I'm going to use white for this, I'm going to use all planned, what you reckon. So, it, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to level with you yet, it's been a long time since I've done a 3D flower. So, 
we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to use my bigger brush first, pick up a bead of white acrylic. So it's only small, just a little teeny tiny one. I'm going to set it down where I want it and then wait a second. The problem I have with 3D stuff is I'm impatient. And you've really got to be patient with it. Because <laughs> if you do it too soon, there's just no point. Then I'm going to cut into it and make like a croissant, if you will. So make a little croissant shape. If you do it too soon though, it'll all start to close up and go together because you've not waited long enough. Then you need to turn your brush around this way so your point is always in the middle of your flower and push it out. Now with it being encapsulated it needs to be as flat as possible. So that's my first petal. Now I'm going to pick up another bead. And set it down here just towards the edge of my first one and then wait for what seems like an eternity <laughs> and then you'll see it relax and it'll kind of like gloss over a little bit that's fine it's spreading out keep waiting I'm waiting now I'm gonna try it so I'm gonna go over the top Cut it again, like cut it in the middle, make your croissant shape. If it starts spreading out again into itself, you're too soon, you're a bit keen. But if not, you're good to go. So now, keep the point in the middle again and flatten it out. Nice and flat because it's inside the nail. Like so. Now we need a third one. I like to do three. It needs to always be an odd number, I feel, on a flower, otherwise, it looks too symmetrical, doesn't it? Right, I don't want a massive one. Sometimes we get a bit keen, but we're alright. So I'm going to set it in the where the petals join, where the other two petals join, set it there and have a minute. So now I'm going to cut this one in the middle and then flatten it out again. Now you've got your three petals there looking like a cute little flower. Now I'm going to get a smaller bead, like a tiny one, like that. I'm going to drain the back of the brush out a bit. Oh, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it. I've lost it. Can <laughs> I get another one? Thanks. This happens in real life when I do these on my clients. I lose the beads all the time. <laughs> right, now I'm going to set that kind of close to the middle um, and just where the petals overlap basically from the first one. I was going to, I was going to be too keen there. I was going to be too keen. Right. Do your little croissant again. It's really flat. It's really flat, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be really, really flat. So there, I quite like it with a random one in the middle, but you can add another if you want. We'll add another, for argument's sake. Why not? Get another little bead. Oh, it might be a bit big, that. Oh. Too big. You want it, like, tiny. Like that. Little teeny tiny one. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Now I'm going to cut into it. 
make me a croissant. And now flatten it out. And then I'm going to do the centre. So for the centre, I like to use the littler brush. So I'm going to use the, which one is it? 3D Maestro. And I just want to get a little bead, like that sort of size, and just put it right in that middle centre bit. And of course, wait. So you see it start to relax and it kind of smooths out and gets a bit bigger. Still just wait a few seconds after that. Then, to get a good point on your brush so it's nice and pointy, and I stick it right in the centre and make a hole. Now some people just make a hole in the middle and leave it like that, which is fine. But I like to start in the middle, and then I cut like a little line in one side. Then I'm going to press it out and flatten it, but with this other corner from your cut, use your point of your brush to curve it inwards. So keep pushing out and round, and use your brush to curve the tail end of that one in, into the middle, so it makes like a swirl. Looks a bit like a snail. I think and keep curling it in curl it right in and it looks like the centre of your flower obviously it's like swirling in and use your brush to swirl round you can see there it like really swirls in I think that's cute gorgeous cute 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 so now that's on, I'm going to encapsulate it in clear. So I'm going to use Alaska again. And I'm actually going to start right from the top and do the whole nail. Now here's a debate for you. The cuticle area of the nail, what do you call it? The top or the bottom? I call it the... Too. I think it's clients, you know, because they're sitting the other way, to them it's the bottom, but to me, to us, it's the top in tech. Yeah. So, get some more clear, go right over my flower there. I'm going to feather it backwards. So I look from the side as well so I can see if there's any dips so I'm just going to make sure I've got no dips and if I have just fill it in with a bit more clear. So it has cured and it's nice and hard. So now I'm going to file it. I'm going to use a 150-150. Now we do loads of different files. There's like millions and these are my fave. These are the signature ones and they're the ones that I like the most. Well, it's just personal preference. But I think I've done a filing video. And if I have, I will link it somewhere. Somewhere around here. Um, so you can see my filing routine. So I'm not going to bore you silly with it. I'm just going to file it for you. So I've 
filed it. Ta-da! And I'm going to give it a little buffy woof. Give me buffy woofer. I'm going to use the pro buffer. The pink one, I'll be honest, it's a 320. I could have done with something probably 180 or 240, but it is just what I had. I'll be honest with you. So I'm going to just give it a little buffy woof with this. Just to get the, like, the major scratches out. Obviously, a lint free wipe, best lint free wipes ever. And I'm not just saying that either. Obviously, you'd think I was biased, okay? <laughs> but they are the best. It is a fact. It's an actual fact. So, if you haven't tried them, um, you need them in your life. A little bit of the green cleaner, this one, and I'm just going to clean all the dust stuff. The dusty wasp. Then I'm going to top coat it with the ultimate no wipe, which is probably my favourite top coat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a video on the top coats because I don't feel like I've done one, and there's quite a few now, isn't there? Mm -hmm. There's quite a few. And so I'm going to do a video about what they're like and how flexible they are and stuff like that, and when to use them because I feel like this would be helpful information. But I am going to use the ultimate no wipe. So, how much my other favourite one is? Obviously, you won't be able to guess this, would you? Rock. Velvet. No. Velvet. Velvet. <laughs> velvet mat. Love a bit of velvet mat, me. <laughs> right. But we're going to make it nice and glossy. Right, it's out the lamp. Look at it. Look at it. It's lovely. It's so all glossy and shiny, we've got a nice encapsulated flower in there, it's all sparkly, blooming lovely. So now I'm going to oil her up with this margarita. There's quite a few different, I call them flavours, now obviously they're not flavours because you don't eat it, don't eat it, but I call them flavours. Yeah. Probably you should say scents, shouldn't you? Mm. I like flavours. I like flavours. There's quite a few different flavours. And this one is one of my faves, margarita. It's um, fruity, citrusy. So give it a little twist. Oil her up. Oh yes, look at that. Beautiful. And that's it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, my first video back. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.